So we're going to have a look at how to do the basic setup and run of a Eurotherm Nanodac program. So the first thing button we press is the page button. We need to log in. Press the scroll button. Select supervisor. Press the scroll button again. And press the scroll button again. So this stage we're going to put the password in. And there's two possible passwords, aren't there? Or, or three possible passwords at this stage, depending on the instrument. Yes. Uh, the, so on the, the, on the older instruments, it's, it's numeric and it's 100 or 101. So just demonstrate those two and then we'll go to the code that on the newer ones. Numeric, 100. Zero, zero. To accept that, you press the page button again. Use your cursors, select yes. Press the scroll button. Obviously, that, that's it's not just, work because it's a later instrument. Yeah. Okay, so, so go again. So for this instance, we put the correct one in. Select supervisor, password, and now we have to select caps, capitals, and we're looking for E. And then the rest of the code is numeric. So it's a simple code. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, which I've done. Now we're into the program. Now we can get into the programming mode. To, to access the programming mode, press, press the page, page button once, twice. twice. Use the down cursor to select your loop page. And if you notice in the top right hand corner, there's a page. So this is the screen we're looking for, yeah. which has the page symbol here, doesn't yes, it? Yes, that's correct. That's what we're looking for, that page yeah. symbol. Yeah. And we so, want to be seeing all this going on here. Yeah, now to access that page symbol, highlight reset, use your down cursor. And if you notice the next one will change. And then if you look in next time you press your down button, you go right into the top corner. That page in the top right hand corner is highlighted. Select by pressing your scroll button and now you're into your programming. Okay. And now the basic so is... Yeah. Right, so we'll do another, right, okay. Yeah. So, so this that, page is the programming page, yeah? We can actually see the program and we can do something with it. Yeah, okay. so, to, so now to select your program, use your down cursor until you come to segment one which okay. it's already in. So underneath there, segment name. Uh, for this purpose, it says what, but that could be anything that you want you can to name put that. out. Yeah. Right, first one is type ramp. So if you're looking for a simple operation where you want it to ramp up to a certain temperature in a certain amount of time, ramp is your type. So show us what the choices might be, please. Well, the cho choices are, you've got ramp. Ramp, so ramp is, Ramp is one where it's either going up or it's going down. It's changing yeah. temperature. Yeah. The next one is a step where you can go from There's one. No time. There's no time there. It, it just jumps. Just, yeah. Yeah. Then you've got a dwell, meaning yeah. it will hold at that constant temperature for whatever length yeah. of time you put it at. You've got an end. Which is a function. Which is, is to end the program. the program. And that's just telling you what type it is. And they're the, they're the actual items. Wait, we never have. use, do we? No, we don't use weight. It's right, not, it's okay. not necessary. We never use that, yeah. Yeah, so in this first instance, it's, it's a ramp. ramp. Okay. Yeah, so press your scroll button to That's accept that. Yeah. yeah. Now your target set point, whatever, if you want to go to 100 degrees, you would basically... And this is the, the temperature scroll. that the oven will be at, hopefully, at the end of the ramp. Yes, that's correct. So okay. to select that, you press the scroll button, and as you can see, there's your figure there. So now you're using your cursors. Every time you select the button you want it, press the scroll button and it highlights at the top is one. Now we want to select 100. So we press the scroll button twice. Now to accept that, you have to press the page button first. It will ask you to accept the changes. Use your cursor button to select yes. Scroll button to confirm. And as you can see now the channel one, target set point is now 100 yeah so that's telling us it's a ramp 
So yeah. we're going to try and get to that temperature from wherever we were, yeah. and and uh, irrespective, and then the, the target is going to be 100. Yes. Okay. Now, the next thing you want is the length of time you yeah. want it to take it up there. Again, channel one time. So if you look at that as a, as a target set point, you might think, yes, we're going to need 30 minutes to get to that. 100 degrees C, yeah, a, a or nice or, steady, or, long you want a steady or whatever it is, because it, it, so to highlight that now, press it again, it goes to a dark letters, yeah, using your up button, up cursor, just keep your finger on the button because it'll go quicker and quicker, and then we're looking for 10 minutes, that's not bad, use your down button, if you go over, Press it singular. As soon as you get to 10, use your page button. Oh, sorry, I've done that wrong. I do apologize. It's, it's okay, you can go back and do yeah, it again, yeah. yeah? If you do it wrong. Ah, so right, if you press the wrong button, yes, it yeah. just takes you back to where you are. It were. just takes you back to where you are, or where you was, should I say. There you go. Oh, too far. Even the experts get it wrong, right? Yes, we do. We press, you press the scroll, scroll button first, and that locks it in. And it's locked it in. Okay, so then we go down. The next is channel one hold back. If uh, it gets too far in front of itself, it can actually hold it back till it catches up. But generally, we on this side, it. we very rarely use that. And again, there's no event. So now we're back to your segment numbers. Okay, so then the next step would be the next segment in the ramp, which would be segment two. Yes, so highlight again with the scroll button, change it to two, yeah. accept it with the scroll button, and if we scroll down, you can put whatever name you want you to put You can put a there. name, in and this then case, this, it's a dwell. It's a dwell, that means you want to hold that, at that temperature for any length of time that you want to put in. At the moment, it shows three minutes, but say you wanted to change that to... 20 minutes, yeah. you want it to run at 20 minutes, highlight with the scroll button, use your up cursor to get to 20. It does seem a bit long where you have to do this, but it's, it's the easiest way of doing it. Nearly there. Again, use your scroll button to accept. Channel hold back is zero. Right, okay, so you're now you're on to your next segment number. Highlight it with the scroll button, change that to three, except with the scroll button. And that, in this, this case, is a step. step. Now, the idea of a step, for it to cause, to, for it to, to end the program, you put a target set point, and in this case, we've put 10 degrees. And because of the, um, the alarm contacts inside that will see that as a fault and switch the program off and that ends the sound that allows the oven to switch off yeah that that will switch the oven off so we put a target set point of 10 degrees which it can't possibly achieve yeah and it sees it as a as an over temp and it will switch the program off okay so that that's that's to end your program is step yeah so now what we want to do there's one is, more segment, I think. There's one more segment number. So highlight again, change that to four, except with the scroll button. If you scroll down, type end. That's an end reset. That means that, that will reset your program back to its original settings, ready for the next time you want to, to run that program. Great. So that's already set so up. So lock that in. Yeah. yeah. So it's locked in because it, it's, it's on that type yeah. of... Uh, and that is it. And it says end type reset. reset. Yeah. So we come out of that. So we... now you've done your programming, use your page button to Take come out. Back. If you want to run the program, use your scroll button to highlight reset. Use your scroll button again. The reset has turned to black letters. Select run, press your scroll button. And now you can see the time running on the time we've got. It says segment time left, nine minutes 53. At the bottom there is your total run time, which is 29 minutes 47 seconds. It is because you've got your, your, your dwell in there as well. And what we're seeing there, we're seeing this is, this is the actual temperature in the theoretical oven. Yeah. Because in this case, it's just sat up in the office. Yeah. And that's the temperature the oven's trying to achieve, which is currently trying to ramp up. 
Yeah, and that will ramp up to 100 degrees in the, in the time set. And in this instance, it's, we've set that to 10 minutes. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna show is how to save a program onto a USB stick or how to recover it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So to, to find that out, we press the page button, log in. We look for engineer, select the scroll button again, and then again, and it's numeric. So again, there's different passwords. It could be 100 or it could be 101 on some of the instruments or on the later instruments, it's the same code as we saw before. Yes. And what was that code? E1234567. E1234567. But in this particular instrument, it's 100, which is the more, most common one that we have. That takes you into this page. So we're looking for instrument. You press your scroll button once. Use your down cursor and you keep going to come to save and restore. Okay. To highlight that, press your scroll button, select, use your down button, we want save. Press your scroll button once. Now it wants you to save to the USB. That's how you save it to the USB. So you plug a USB into either the back of this instrument, yes. or there's usually a USB yeah. on the front of our control it, panel. It wasn't showing it. It wouldn't let you save because there's no, there's no USB, USB currently in. plugged in. But what we could do is... We'll plug one in. Right, so so if once we've got a USB connected, we've now plugged in a USB in the back of the instrument, you then go to operation. Yeah, so press the scroll button to select. We want to save. Save, yeah. press your scroll button again. And you can see a little... A little squirrely, squirrely there. Yeah. That tells around. you it's now saving. And then you give it a name, presumably. Yeah. Now we've got a new file. Okay, because we, have, we haven't given it a name. So it's a new file, and you can put what name what you want it to put in. But so for our instance, we'll put RDM in. Yeah. D. Okay, once you've done that, you press that, that page button. Page button again. Accept the change, press the scroll button. And you can see it's, it's saving. now saving that program to the USB. So now this is the process for loading a program off a USB. So you're restoring it from a USB, okay? Now press the page button again, log in. Press the scroll button, looking for engineer. It's got to be engineer. Yes. Okay. Press the scroll button again and then scroll, scroll button again, and it's numeric. And this again is the same password that we used earlier to save, which in this case is 100. 100, yes. Yeah. Press the page button, accept, yes. To accept, press the scroll button. Now we're in there again. So now we're looking for instrument. Press the scroll button once. Use your down cursor to save and restore. Press your scroll button once. Select, press the scroll button. It's highlighted. Use your down cursor. Select restore. Press your scroll button. It's now loading the USB up. So now it's looking on the USB and it's, and it's, it's gonna give you a list of all the programs you've previously saved on there. So now we're looking for RDM. This is the program we made earlier. There we are, IDM. UIC is the, the format it's in. Press your scroll button once. And now it's restoring. And it's in operation, status restoring. So you can save as many programs, you can modify the program that you originally had. Yeah, save it to save USB. It, and then and restore then, it anytime yes, you want. Yes, and this can give that. you a, a catalog of programs that you can actually, right. you know, put in. So once it's restored, it comes up as status complete. Where do we go then? So we scroll out. Yeah, keep scrolling out. We want to log out because we're in engineer. We want to come out of engineer mode because we can't operate Press it like that. Press your down cursor once. 
there's your, your there's your, your normal screen your program now yep. too it's the same and is that ready to run in other words if it gets the signal from the plc will it now run no, no it, it can't run because we've got a selected program. you have to be in the only way it will run is when you're in supervisor mode it will only run in supervisor mode that's to stop people anybody yeah. randomly run. coming along and set, starting up my mistake and then it will just run automatically won't it when it's demanded either via selection of mode or whether it's a remote signal that will start it up yeah okay perfect